Hi, this is Richa Chedda and you are watching the T-Series official YouTube channel. For all the latest updates on our film Mayor Charles, please log on to youtube.com slash T-Series. You were going to marry us too? No, we are both going to marry us. Love is so beautiful. Mayor Charles is about uh, an account of a jailbreak that happened in 1986 uh, centered around a protagonist who is Charles played by Randeep Huda and it is from the point of view of this person called Amod Kant who was responsible for capturing this criminal at the time. I think there are many mares in the film. In the title there are many mares, you see them in the film, in the trailer. There's Adil Hussain, there's uh, Alex O'Neill. There, everybody's separate relationships around the fulcrum of Charles is what the film is about. What happens to their lives after they interact with him? How their lives change? Whether they become famous or um, notorious or whatever, you know. I'm playing a girl who wants to be a lawyer, and she goes and meets him and uh, falls for him instantly, and. Uh, then really proceeds to ruin her own life because she's fallen for this guy and he uses her to get out of jail and stuff. So I play a law student who falls in love with the character of Charles and uh, yeah, it was great. He's a really good actor, one of the best we have in the business and he's really committed and uh, hard working and really someone uh, fun to work with because it's is stimulating in many ways, you know, not just uh, at a surface level. I like it. I think all the numbers are quite catchy, correct. Uh, they're not in your face and <coughs> they've not just been put there to sort of sell the film, but they make sense to the narrative also. They take the story forward. In a film like this, it's very important because, you know, uh, uh, it captures the essence of the era very correctly and also um, it's a thriller always needs that little bit of uh, heartbeat, you know. Someone said that the BGM is the heartbeat of the of the the script of or of the film. Yeah. So it's set in 1980s middle class Delhi, and for me, I didn't have to do that much preparation or research work because it was already done for me. The director is so thorough with his research that just by sitting and chatting with him, I figured a lot of stuff out. All over Udaipur, Delhi, a little bit in Bombay. Um, Manali, these guys went and stuff, yeah. Goa, also Goa is a major location in the city, uh, in the film. It was fantastic, he's one of the finest directors I've worked with. He's really precise, uh, intelligent and he's uh, incisive and he's very honest to his work, which I like. Um, and he's made a very fine film, I'm very proud of the film. It's an entertaining thriller. It will keep you thinking, it will keep things ticking all through. Because it is a good film about, uh, it is a good Indian film which does not look like it is uh, a typical Desi product. It looks very slick, it looks very international uh, and it captures a, a, an incident not too far back that people would somehow somewhere remember, if not them then their parents or people around them uh, and you know it is very intriguing. It's an entertaining film, basically. ऐसे बागों की उस पे मूवी बना।